Hi, hello. In this project, I'm going to be making a face mask with shell stitch and the edging. And I'm going to be using this yarn. This yarn has a really nice color in it. Different colors in the yarn. And I'm thinking to do something with this. I found this yarn in my cabinet and I just want to do something with this yarn. So I'm going to be using scissor and 6 millimeter hook. So to begin in this project, grab your yarn and make a slip knot using 6 millimeter hook and chain 40, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once you have a chain of 40, make one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So let's count 1 and 2. Insert your hook right there, yarn over, two loops in the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is our first single crochet and continue making nine single crochet in the next nine stitches, a total of ten single crochet. So that is one, two, there is a ball pin in my arm, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. A total of ten single crochet. And once you have that, make one double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over three loops in the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And continue working 19 double crochet in the next 19 stitches, a total of 20 double crochet. And I'm gonna meet you once I'm done making 19 double crochet, which is a total of 20 double crochet. So go ahead, do that. So I have here a total of 20 double crochet and now I'm going to make 9 single crochet in the next 9 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and nine total of nine single crochet that is for our round two so this is just going to be our pattern all the way up so to begin round three we're going to chain one turn your work around and make nine single crochet in the next nine stitches one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Total of nine single crochet. And likewise, do 20 double crochet in the next 20 stitches just like in a row two. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. nine so go ahead do that i'm gonna meet you once i have 20 double crochet total for round three and i have here a total of 20 double crochet and now i'm going to make 10 single crochet in the next 10 stitches one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, and ten in total. Ten single crochet. That is for our round three. And I'm just going to repeat round three. Every time you start a new row, you're going to chain one, turn your work around, and repeat this one here. Then double crochet in the next 10 stitches, 20 double crochet in the next 20 stitches, and 9 double crochet in the next 9 stitches. And once you're going to turn back, chain 1 and 9 double crochet in the next 9 stitches. So it has to be the same number. What is the number here should be the same in the next row. And likewise here, what is the number here is the same in the next row also. So this is 10 single crochet here. And don't forget, this is only 9 single crochet here. This is how it look like. Repeat round 3 for a total of 13 rows. So I have repeated round 3 for a total of 13 rows. And this is how it look like. Chain 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we're going to connect this in the other side of the mask the ear handle connect this one right to here in the first single crochet insert your hook yarn over and pull through that is a slip stitch to connect our ear handle chain three one two and three and in the same stitch you're going to make four double crochet insert your hook right there in the same stitch and make four double crochet two in the same stitch three in the same stitch four the same stitch five five double crochet in one stitch and in the same stitch skip two stitches and in the third stitch insert your hook and make a slip stitch and that is our first shell and in the next stitch make five double crochet again one two three four and five skip two stitches one two and in the third stitch insert your hook and make a slip stitch that is our second shell and we're just going to repeat that until we reach here so five double crochet in the next stitch one two three four five six five only sorry and then skip two stitches and in the third stitch make a slip stitch and again in the next stitch make five double crochet one two three four and five skip two stitches and in the third stitch make a slip stitch and again one two three four and five skip two stitches and in the third stitch make a slip stitch and again five double crochet in one stitch so shell stitch is very much easy especially if you know how to make a double crochet And for the beginners, it's very easy for them to follow also.
four and five and skip two stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch so as you can see we're just repeating over and over again this is for our edging so we will have a total of 15 rows including the shell stitch for this face mask but if you think this face mask is too short for you you can just add more rows until it fit for you perfectly and if you want to make a size for the kids you can reduce the number of chain in the beginning where I have making a chain of 40 and you can always just measure it by fitting it to him or her skip two stitches one two three one two and in the third stitch make a slip stitch perfect so we just made our shell stitch on the top and here in the side we're going to do the same chain 22 and in the side here we're going to do the same just what we did right here chain 22 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and 22 and after that go in the side the other side of the mask which is here insert your hook in the first single crochet right there insert your hook yarn over and pull through in that loop the slip stitch and to begin our shell stitch chain three two and three and make four more double crochet in the same stitch two total of five double crochet three four and five don't forget to count to make sure you have the right number of double crochet skip two stitches and in the third stitch make a slip stitch and again five double crochet in the next stitch so I'm sure you get the hang of it right now and it's getting easier for you and that is really the wonder of crochet once you get used to it you get it right away five double crochet in the next stitch So I'm just going to repeat this all the way down and do that. Three, four, five, skip the stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch. And after that five double crochet in the next stitch, two, three, four, five and skip two stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch one two three four and five skip two stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch one two three four and five skip the stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch and five double crochet in the next stitch over and over again two three four and five skip those stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch one two three 
4 and 5 skip the stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch and again 5 double crochet in the next stitch 2 3 4 and 5 skip the stitches and in the next stitch make a slip stitch 5 double crochet in the next stitch 2 3 4 and 5 so this is our last shell stitch and skip the stitches skip one stitch and in the next stitch insert your head yarn over and slip stitch chain one pull tight and cut the yarn and this is how it looked like for our shell stitch I'm just going to make a knot of this remaining yarn right here to secure the stitch one two three cut the yarn do the same on the other side we have one right here insert your hook in the side of this mask you can do it however you want it feel free to do it your way this is just my way of doing this as it is easier for me and cut the yarn it's very easy and very fast because we are just we just finish and this is how it looked like for our shell stitch it match perfectly on the other side that is the power of counting the right number of stitches and you should not miss that otherwise our work or your work will go in different direction and then I'm just gonna weave this I'm just going to make this into I'm just going to make a knot just a minute where here I'm just going to make a knot of this remaining yarn right here to secure the stitch one two three cut the yarn do the same on the other side we have one right here Insert your hook in the inside of this mask. You can do it however you want it. Feel free to do it your way. This is just my way of doing this as it is easier for me. Make a few knots and cut the yarn. I'm gonna hide it first a bit down. So I don't have to see this little, these yarns, the remaining yarns, so I don't have to see them. So with your hook, you can change your hook if it is, if it is too difficult to go through in this one, to secure the stitch. And cut the yarn. Here we are done with our face mask. And this is how it